Hi everyone, we're connecting two Roland VS2480 digital mixers. Here's a quick picture of the back of it. Just want to make sure you know how to do the connections. So on unit one, you're going to set this one up. You don't have to set it this way, but I set it up as the MMC master. MMC is the um, controls, like the stop and the play and whatnot. The digital connection is coming we're coming out of this one's digital out and right and out of this one's MIDI out and I have it connected to a VGA screen so on unit 2 we will be going to the digital in and the MIDI in All right and this one is also set as the MMC slave so as I hit play on unit one, unit two will, you know, play or stop when I press the button, the appropriate button. So in the back of unit two, just to show you there at the far end, that black cable, that's the digital in, that's the digital wire. And there's the R bus connectors. You see the red MIDI cable going to the MIDI in. And I have a mouse and I have something connected to the SCSI. I tend to record at 24-bit, um, 48 kilohertz. So you set up the tempo map the way you want it on both units. Make sure they're the same. Now you set the IU sync track, and it works really well. So that red line, the song position pointer that goes down the screen, that is what it's using. That's what's being synced between the two. Sync mode, you see on this version, we have it set to internal. And it's just going to follow the um, tempo map and the sync track from the first unit from the unit that's the master I should say and this is where we get important the MIDI settings <clears throat> well all of this is important but this is the MIDI MMC setting one needs to be transmitting the master unit is the transmitter the other one is the receiver transmit is TX receive is RX so you're seeing in there all these other controls you have like the mixer control you can control the mixer from one to the other and stuff like that and then this page is important because now we're setting digital parameters You see the various R bus toggles there. So here I'm just going to show you right now you have to set the coaxial in. You have to turn it on. And now you're going to see, like you see me playing it, and then I stopped, and they're both at the same spot. So the sync track works. Here's the other toggle. Well, now, right now, we're, you know, connecting the coaxial left and right to tracks one and two. And you can use whatever tracks you want. And now you see he's selecting the various inputs and you're seeing how it changes for the R bus, the optical digital and the coaxial digital now I just want to show you what happens when you um, turn off the digital lock so I'm clicking internal so now we're using the internal just click exit to come out of it now 
for the first time when you connect it, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see it's a digital in lock. So there it goes. So now it's locking itself to the other unit. Thank you very much.